Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in this session, so we are going to discuss so one a simple question, a Java interview question. So, what is that? Using wrapper classes, using wrapping concept, so we can perform generally data conversions, right? A primitive to objects conversion, objects to primitive conversion, primitive to strings and string to primitives, object to string and string to objects we will convert. But here it is one doubt for everyone. Sir, so why string to primitive conversions and primitive to string conversions are important? So, what is the reason? Here it is, the question is clearly, the question is why we need to convert string to primitive and primitive to string. So, why we need to convert? Sir? All right. So, means what? If you want to work with a primitive type, just collect the primitive type only, just read the primitive type only or if you want to work with a string, just collect the string only. Why we are collecting that input in the form of string and we are converting into primitive type and why we are collecting that input in the form of primitive and converting into string type this is a question definitely the people will ask. So, here it is. So, one best example to understand this one best example actually in many places in java application we use this conversions but one example to understand best example if you take one gui graphical user interface in java so graphical user interface suppose i just want to design a small calculator here it is options we can go for applets we can use a swing api or in advanced we can go for html HTML. So, whatever the API we are using and whatever the technology we are using, no matter. Uh, simply here it is the frame, the name is a Calci window. Now, simple calculator I am designing here, graphical user interface, you can understand easily. Here it is one label, the enter number 1, and here it is so one inbox field, I mean input field, and next one. Here it is enter number 2, this is a second input field and next to display the result here is a label and as well as so one field and next only one button we are taking here add button. This is a simple design right here it is of a calculator either you go for applets, a swings or a HTML. Here the problem is problem. So, this is what we called text field. So, to collect that integers, there is no separate integer input field, double input field, float input field, character input field. So, no such type of input fields in any technology, such type of fields are not available. So, not only in Java, in all the technologies. If you want to collect that any input, we should go for text fields only. So, these are text fields. So, text fields collect the information in the form of text. Sir, what is a text? Simple string, string. So, whatever the input you will give right in this field. So, whatever the input you will give either character or integer, double type, string type, anything no matter, it will collect in the form of a string only in every technology. So, here suppose we are giving that input number is a 10 and 20 internally it will be converted into string. So, internally double quotes will be present. You cannot see of course, double quotes, but internally that is in the form of a string. Sir, cannot we perform addition operation on 10 and 20 now? Impossible case. Sir, what are the problems? Very simple. In Java, if you want to add two numbers, 10 and 20, it will give the result 30. But in other cases, like if you want to add one string, one string and one integer, result is a string only and it will be concatenated. It will be merged concatenation. And next suppose if it is a 10 and a 20 in the form of string now, one integer and one string also same story, it will give string. And next case, suppose if both are strings again, same problem here it is, it will give a concatenated string 1020. In all the remaining cases, 
if both are strings or the first one is a string or second one is a string in all the three situations it, it will give that result is a string only. So, that is why we cannot perform addition operation on these two 10 and 20 because we cannot show the result at 10 and 20. So, this is the problem we will face generally. So, then what we have to do first we need to collect the information in the form of strings only so we cannot do anything. So, later we can perform we can perform a conversion operations string to primitive conversion operations how see first we collect that information in the form of string only in the form of string first step collect input in string format next we should perform string to primitive operations like a string to integer operations sir how sir in wrapper classes parse methods are there simply in a shortcut they can call like this parse x x x methods. So, why first x is a capital letter means what uh, in the method second word always st starts with a capital letter it is a naming convention like parse byte parse integer right parse float parse double parse boolean right methods are there we know that right parse x x x methods we are using for this conversion. So, after conversion now perform the operation just add add two numbers after conversion right and here it is once the result is ready. So, then directly we cannot store here reason here it is a text field it will accept only text. So, once again once again after adding again primitive to string conversion is important using two string method using two string method we can convert after conversion the result we should we should set to the output field. So, that is 30 so, 30 again it will be displayed in the form of string only nothing but in double quotes internally of course, we cannot see. So, here it is guys here it is in the text fields nothing but in a GUI here it is input we are collecting in the form of string and output also we are displaying in the form of string only, but we will process the information by converting string to integer and integer to string. So, this is one example to understand where we use a string to primitive and primitive to string conversions and so many examples will be covered in the entire Java technology or Java programming ok. So, hope you understand right this guys for more videos please subscribe to Narayshati channel thank you, thank you all. Thank you.